Was on, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a lovely new Transformers TCG character card. Shout out to the lovely Matt Smith, who does work for Wizards of the Coast. He is a creative leader and a game designer for Transformers TCG. And he's gone and revealed Crankcase. He also did say over on his Twitter that it's going to be a good partner for Sunstorm Fusion Flyer, but I, I, I think we'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. Though do go and give Matt Smith a follow over on Twitter, at question is, but with a free instead of an E. Cool. So anyway, Crankcase, what do we see? We got a seven star melee truck, and stats wise, it, it's about right for a seven star. Attack of 4 or 5, 5's pretty good. Defense of 1 or 2, 1's not great. Health of 11, it is pretty much what we would expect. Although I do very much appreciate having a ranged character in bot mode and a melee character in alt mode, meaning you can use the respective tricks for either of those types, or I suppose traits is the way to put it. That really opens up our options, we're very happy about that. So that's kind of cool. In bot mode, when you attack and you've got five or more cards in hand, you get plus three attack until end of battle. And let's make no bones about this. If you have got eight attack on a seven cost character, this is nuts. This is really, really good. Like phenomenal good. Eight attack is what we would expect on something like Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend. Except that's not a 7-star character. Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend is actually a 13-star character, which is almost double. So, yeah, if you're going to be getting 8 attack here, this is pretty nuts. And honestly, this gives us a roadmap to play in the character. If we want to make the most about it, this gives us a roadmap to play in the character. We need draw. And we need straight draw. So something like Work Overtime is not going to do us any good here. Work Overtime is a really nice card. Let's us draw until we've got four cards in hand. But the point is that you need five cards in hand here. This isn't going to be any good. If it was four cards or more in hand, this would be phenomenal with Work Overtime. And if we ever get Work Overtime or an equivalent thereof with five cards, yes. Awesome. Because you see, we only start with four cards in our hand. And we only draw one card per turn. And a lot of the time we want to be playing upgrades and actions throughout the game. Which means we're going to be emptying out our hand. There are plenty of things we can do, don't get me wrong. We've got plenty of options for drawing cards. But we do, if you want to make the most of this, you do need to draw a bunch of cards. Now one way we can actually do that is with the alt mode skill. When you flip to this mode... Draw a card. And I like this. This makes me happy. There's no pretense. There's no mucking about here. It's just drawing a card. We don't often get to just draw two cards. Like Wave 1, Dinobot Snarl. When you flip to the alt mode, you got to draw two cards. If you had a zero card hand. If you didn't, you didn't get to do the drawing. Drawing one isn't phenomenal. But being able to draw one... And it's just to draw one, and there's no other requirements that need to be met. And it's just on a seven-cost character. I'm kind of alright with this. Now, initially, my first thought here was actually the bombshell that at this stage we got quite a while ago. It was the bombshell that we got back in Wave 2. When it looked like we were going to be getting a bombshell every set and we haven't actually had a, a bombshell since. And what was so cool about the bombshell from Wave 2 was that it's got a fairly ridiculous skill. In bot mode, when you attack, you may scrap cards from your hand equal to the number of stars on the defender. If you do KO the defender. So that's going to be a card, a character, where you're really trying to build up the largest possible hand size. And if you're playing a deck where you're trying to build up cards in your hand, firstly, this lets you draw a card. Yay! But secondly, it means that you're probably going to have five or more cards in hand. Because if you build the deck for it, you can make this happen. And then you're golden. 
then you will have five or more cards in hand. And if you've got five or more cards in hand, then you've got eight attack. And eight attack on a seven cost really is a little bit over the top. But we need the right kind of draw card. So something like Equipment Enthusiast here would be awesome. Equipment Enthusiast lets you draw one card for each of your upgrades. Every upgrade on every character, draw one card for each. So in terms of pure draw, it's great. We've got stuff like Pep Talk that came around in Wave 2. That's just a pure draw too. We do have Universal Network Access... But it is very much worth pointing out that that is a star card. If you've got the space for it, go for it. But the fact of the matter is you're rarely going to actually have the space. And most of the time when you're doing lots of draw, there's a, a big downside. Something like confidence is a really nice card. You draw two cards. Then you have to scrap two cards from your hand. Does let you play an action if you started the game with only Autobots. But given that we're talking about a Decepticon character here, maybe we just move along? I do like Decepticon Drag Strip. Now, this is a very cheap character. It's a five cost. And when you attack and flip at least an orange and a blue, you get to draw two cards. And it is just draw two cards. You don't then have to put one back down, so that could be quite nice. That could work. Because the fact of the matter is, there's very bad, pure, straight draw. Something like Incoming Transmission is a really good card, but Incoming Transmission, also you draw two, and then you have to put a card from your hand on top of your deck. It's not quite the same. There are some card games where pure draw is good and there's lots of it around there are plenty of others where we just don't get that you've been warned ladies and gentlemen you've been warned now the good news is this is actually a character that has its own stratagem sweet and the stratagem is called Data protection. And I was teaching about the data protection act today, which is really weird. It is a one-star stratagem, as all of them have been so far. And while you have crankcase data collector on the battlefield, your opponent's cards cannot cause you to scrap cards from your hand. Now, this is extremely important. Because, you see, you're trying to build up a handful of cards. And if your opponent is trying to make you scrap a whole bunch of cards, that, that's going to make things go very, very badly, very, very quickly. We don't want this, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want this at all. Something like Sonic Scramble, which ironically would be really good for you as well. Your opponent scraps a card from their hand. If you play three in the same turn, you get to draw three cards, which is very, very good. And when you play one, you can then play another one immediately. Well, that wouldn't help here at all. Anything your opponent would be trying to make you do, they no longer can do. At least in terms of making you scrap cards from your hand. That can be absolutely huge. It can be the difference between winning and losing. Security Checkpoint is a card that is played quite a lot, often for the double blue icons. But if you're trying to build up as big a hand as you can, and your opponent's playing security checkpoint for the double blue icons, they might actually play it as an action card. Because if you're sitting there with a hand of 11 cards, your opponent is probably thinking you've got 5 or 6 upgrades in your hand. So security checkpoint would be pretty devastating. They're the kind of plays you're stopping. Maybe your opponent's playing something like a Sonic Scramble. Far more likely, they're playing something like security checkpoint just for the fun of it. For the double icon. But then they realise that this is the time this is going to work quite nicely. Now we started a video talking about Sunstorm. And how Matt Smith when he did the reveal did suggest. That Sunstorm could be a character that we should be considering. Along with this. And it's fairly obvious why. Because when you're in bot mode. Your attack is equal to the number of cards that you have in your hand. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that, that, that's pretty phenomenal. Now, annoyingly, you're not actually able to play Sunstorm along with Bombshell and 
Crankcase here, it's it's just not going to work. There's too many stars, boo hits, etc. But certainly, they both need you to have a lot of cards in your hand. They both really don't like it when your opponent is trying to discard cards from your hand. So that would work rather nicely indeed. Would kind of lock you into a range rather than a melee deck, given that Sunstorm is ranged in both sides. But the good news is that you're talking an 11 star plus a 7 star 8 with the stratagem. That's 19. It still gives you 6 stars to use elsewhere. I'm, I'm still like a drag strip. Think it could be fun. Either way, this is still something very, very cool that we should all be having a good old think about. And it really is the kind of thing that it would make a fun deck. Can I tell you it's going to be an amazing deck? Can absolutely tell you that this is going to be a lot of fun and there's a lot of synergy and it's something we should all be having to think about. So go and ask, ladies and gentlemen, but do remember the rules. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassie. That's where we talk Transformers and a whole bunch of other games. And do please consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus pods, all that fun stuff. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.